Vâng ơi, xin cả đoàn là chúng ta dạo đàn
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in what I have done and in what I have felt to do. May Almighty God have a mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In those days, the Lord said, the uprising against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great, and their sin is so grave, that I must go down and see whether or not their actions fully correspond to the cry against them that comes to me. I mean to find out why Abraham's visitors walked on farther towards Sodom. The Lord remained standing before Abraham. Then Abraham drew nearer and said, We will sweep away the innocent with the guilty. Suppose there were 50 innocent people in the city. Would you wipe out the, the place rather than spare it for the sake of the 50 innocent people within it? Far, it, it, far be it from you to do such a thing to make the innocent die with the guilty, so that the innocent as the, as the guilty would be treated alive. Should not the judge of all the world act with justice? The Lord replied, If I find 50 innocent people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the worst lives for their sake. Abraham spoke again, spoke up again, See how I am presuming to speak to my Lord, though I am but dust and ascent. What if there are finest than fifty innocent people? We will destroy the whole city because of those five. He answered, I will not destroy it if I find fortify them. But Abraham persisted, saying, What if only Forty are found them. He replied, I will forbear doing it for the sake of the forty. Then Abraham said, Let not my Lord grow impatient if I go on. What if only thirty are the found them? He replied, I will forbear doing it if I can find but thirty them. Still Abraham went on. Since I have thus there, to speak to my Lord. What if there are no more than twenty? The Lord answered, I will not destroy you for the sake of the, th of the twenty. But he still persisted, Please, let not my Lord grow angry if I speak up this last time. What if there are at least ten there? He replied, For the sake of those ten, I will not destroy it. The word of the Lord.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, brothers and sisters, you were buried with him in the baptism in which you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. And even with you were the dead in the transgression and the uncircumcision of your flesh, you brought you to life along with him, having forgiven us on our transgressions of little great things of born against us. With it legal claims which was obvious to us, he also removed it from the our meat, nailing it to the cross. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Teachers were praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, so that John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, who art be your name, your kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us, and do not subject us to the final test. And he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, let me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in the blind from within, do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give the visitor the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. But Father among, but father among you would hand his son a snack when he asked for a fish, or hand him a scorpion, when he asked for an egg. If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Quý phụ huynh và các riêng chúng con rất thân mến Những gì các cha các thầy và cùng với chúng con đã làm trong gần hai tháng qua Nay đã bắt đầu giống như những hạt giống 
đã được chăm sóc và đang mọc lên thành những cây hoa, cây bông, cây lúa sinh hoa trái. Con cái của quý phụ huynh thật là tuyệt vời. Và mỗi người con cái của cô, của quý phụ huynh giống như cái kho báu, giống như kim cương, giống như ngọc quý. Chúng tôi đã phát hiện ra, chúng tôi đã cố gắng trong gần hơn hai tháng qua bằng lời cầu nguyện, bằng nỗ lực, bằng cố gắng để giúp con em của quý vị mài rúa mình, tự mài rúa mình từ những viên ngọc thô, từ những cái kho báu kim cương nó còn thô sơ và nhiều khi nó hoang dã do chưa được phát hiện. Chúng tôi đã cố gắng và hôm nay các cái viên ngọc quý là con em của quý vị đã bắt đầu sáng lên, bắt đầu phát triển lên và chúng con, chúng con là những hạt giống đã được các cha các thầy gieo bấy lâu nay và chúng con đã đang mọc lên. Chúng con là viên ngọc quý, là kho báu, là kim cương. Các cha các thầy đã cầu nguyện, cộng tác giúp đỡ, mài rúa để cho chúng con sáng lên. Kim cương ngọc quý ở trong rừng hay ở dưới đất nó bao phủ nhiều cái nó làm cho không thấy cái trong sáng đẹp quý hóa của ngọc và kim cương vậy hai tháng qua chúng ta đã cùng nhau làm được những việc tốt lành quý hòa đó giờ đây chúng ta dâng lên hết cho chúa và xin quý phụ huynh chúng ta tiếp tục cộng tác theo tinh thần này để cho con em của quý vị đang là những cây tốt quý vị phải hết sức quan tâm để tiếp tục nuôi dưỡng cái cây hoa đang ra bông ra trái đó nó phát triển lên nhiều em đang ra hoa ra bông có điều chúng tôi lo sợ cũng như là cầu xin chúa thương là cái môi trường cái hạt giống cái cây đang xanh tốt bây giờ bứng đưa về một cái chỗ khác một cái nơi khác có thể thiếu cái không khí thiếu cái ẩm ướt thiếu cái nước làm cho cái môi trường nó không thích hợp cho con em của chúng ta giống như chúa nói có những hạt lúa những cái bông hoa gieo vào về đường người ta đi qua đi lại hay chim trời xuống ăn mất không mọc lên được có một số hạt rơi vào trong gai gốc nó mọc lên nhưng vì gai nó kèn cửa cho nên không phát triển lên được vì quá nhiều gai gốc quá nhiều khó khăn quá nhiều cám dỗ cặp bẫy có một số khác hạt giống tức là con em của quý vị được rơi vào trong được gieo vào trong đá sỏi nó có chút đất nhưng mà thiếu cái nền vì ở dưới là đá có chút đất ở bên trên thôi nó mọc lên nhưng không sâu không ấy được nó khô là heo và ngược lại đây cũng là lời cầu nguyện lời cầu chúc của kinh lệ cha hôm nay là môi trường gia đình quý bậc cha mẹ là cái môi trường đất tốt gia đình bầu khí của cha mẹ phải là cái đất tốt và những hạt giống được rơi vào trong đất tốt tức là gia đình của quý phụ huynh cha mẹ ông bà anh chị em của các cháu đây ví như khi thở đất tốt đã được chăm sóc và chắc chắn cái cây nó sẽ mọc lên thành bông thành hoa có cây sinh hạt được 30 có cây sinh 60 có cây sinh 100 Chúng ta hãy tin tưởng và hãy sốt sắng xin cha trên trời, xin Chúa, xin mẹ Maria phù hộ chúc lành cho tất cả chúng ta. Giờ đây để kết thúc, xin mời chúng con, các bạn nội chú và cả cộng đoàn chúng ta đứng lên để chúng ta dâng lời cầu nguyện như Chúa Giêsu đã dạy. Chúng ta xin Chúa Cha 
phù hộ che chở ban ơn cho chúng ta xin mẹ Maria chúc lành cho chúng ta chúng ta sốt sắc đọc kinh lạy cha cầu nguyện như lời Chúa Giêsu dạy rồi đọc kinh kính mừng xin mẹ phù hộ cho gia đình chúng con cho các cha các thầy hy vọng năm sau sẽ gặp lại chúng con rồi mọi người chúng ta hướng tâm tình lên để đọc kinh lạy cha Our Father who art in heaven Thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from every evil Hail Mary Good of Christ The Lord be with you Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary Mother of God Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death Amen Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and to the beginning, is now, and will soon be, world without end. Amen. Giờ đây chúng ta tiếp tục dừng thần lễ. Chúng con có kinh tinh kính, chúng con sốt sáng đọc kinh tinh kính nha. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life, everlasting life. Amen. Uh, prayers of the faithful. Dear my beloved children, God is very happy to see all of you gathering here today to worship and give thanks to Him. And God loves all of you as He beloved sons and daughters. So, with the gratitude hearts, as well as we place our trust in Him, let us ask our Heavenly Father to grant us the gifts of faith and love so that we may find the pearls peer, the of the kingdom of God. Ministers of the world and sacraments that all her members may be strong in faith and hope, that all, and that God may be recognized in the love that she be to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our bishops, Peter, as well as all the bishops in the world. May he be always healthy and full of grace and wisdom of God, so that he will lead our thriving diocese in the way as God's will and bring so many souls to our God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our fathers, brothers and sisters, as well as all the benefactors, who have helped us in the summer cross, may all of them always be able to find the happiness in serving the other. 
may God confirm on their sacrifice and bless them all. And we also never forget to pray for our parents who bear us a lot of pennies for us to have a good life. May God grant a lot of graces and peace upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us children in this summer course, after this precious time living with our bishop, on the fathers, brothers, and sisters, may each of us become more and more diligent in studying and keep continue living as a beloved son and daughter of our God, so that we can be a little witness to the other children in our school and society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah. Loving Father, we thank you for calling us into your kingdom. You make all things work to their perfection. We confidently place on our prayers before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters, 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the great and glory of his name, for our work and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O God, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give a thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to pray the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and on the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his he took bread and gave a thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this on of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this on of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have hand us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread of and Peter, our bishop, and Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lives of your faith. Have mercy on us all with praise that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, as found with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages. We may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, own glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each a sign of peace.
Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Place are those gone to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul can be healed.
Sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which He Himself gave us with love beyond all tenly may profit us for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The month is ended. Go in peace. tiến vào tầng trệt khu A để dùng bữa cơm gia đình với nhà trung giáo phận và hôm nay là một ngày thật là tuyệt vời bây giờ thì tiết thời tiết cũng rất là ủng hộ và Vâng, rất tin ạ. Vâng, xin cảm ơn uh, ca đoàn. Cảm ơn chị Huyền.